What up folks? Today I'm unboxing Brooch by Stefan Filt and published, distributed by White Goblin Games. This is um, a game from 2 to 4 players I suppose. Yeah, 2 to 4 players, it takes around ish 1 hour. It's some strategy dice rolling hand managed game. As you can see the game is fully in Dutch here because I have Dutch copy. And I got this game on a really bargain price on twenty three ninety nine on Fnac. Uh, it's like almost half the price, so I, I, I really needed to buy that one because it was way too cheap to let it uh, stand there. Cool resist. Every excuse is a good excuse to buy a board game. So, Bruges. Let's have a look. What do we get here? We are getting a rule book with uh, the marked get from Rouge. Um, lots of text, lots of explanations. And as I see here, we have um, the explanation of the cars and Dutch. We are getting some cardboards to punch out with some gold coins on it some copper coins we are getting no idea what these are see from some rats some kind of army over here and yeah no idea what it is we are getting a box so as i can see over here it's some kind of inlay we're gonna put on the table where people can grab cards no idea what it is it's actually fun, funky and funny to see this. Uh, we are getting another piece of cardboard. I have no idea what use it is for, but here it is. Here is Bruges. The reason I bought this game is because I actually studied myself in Bruges when I was a teenager. I'm feeling old when I'm saying that. So it gave me some nostalgia feeling to get a game called Bruges in my collection. And I still like to visit Bruges from time to time because I'm actually not living that far from Bruges. And here is the Belfort. Uh, Belfort is some big ass tower that were used in the past to secure the environment from Bruges to see the attacks incoming. And it's quite funny to see because some of those buildings are actually still existent. I still recognize this one here. I still know the location from it, I still know where it is in the city, so it's actually a very kind of accurate uh, board. Uh, over here we are getting some kind of funny looking meeples. I don't know why they are looking like that, but I think they have some kind of cape. Uh, we are getting some bigger meeple here. We have some basic simplistic dice that have look how heavy they are they are not that heavy they are yeah simple dice and like throw fives apparently and sixes okay and here we have some cards oh that's good easy to open up uh, all the cards have the same background yes with a different color on it and what do we have here? We have, well, we have a princess, but she's not that hot. Okay. Nice illustrated cards. Kind of awkward looking people. Maybe people looked like that in the past, I don't know. Some, oh, he's the, the coin master. He likes to eat coins, apparently. Uh, it's so text oh i first thought it was a misprint but he's an acrobat so i suppose he's uh, being upside down the whole time uh, dancers we do have a lot of charters oh there's even cheetah a lot different it's really uh, are all those cards having a different artwork i don't know i think all of these have all these cards have their own artwork. Don't shoot me if you have seen some same looking card because I'm getting the same feeling. But look at it, all those. We have a baker. Yeah. A Valkyrie. 
look at all those cards it's a lot of cards and over here we have another package let's have a look over here and again we are getting again we are getting lots of artwork <laughs> lots of different artwork we are getting some monks look at all this artwork to be kind of difficult to remember what the cards are doing because sometimes you have you kind of know the art artwork so you kind of know what they're doing but now we are having so many different artwork on the cards i'm actually complaining there's too much art in the game we even have a dog here we have some some army people them so many professions Thieves, murderers, smugglers, snitches. Oh, okay. Look at all those different artwork. It's, it's. I'm shocked. <laughs> in a good way. That's, that's. I mean, these are the non artwork cards. These are just like. Cheat sheets you're gonna have next to you, which and you have even some printable. I actually own Istanbul, it's quite a good game. I never played Karara, maybe I, I, will, I need to play it. And I have Empire Settlers also. But look at this amount of cards. I mean, just have a look on this pile. All those cards have their own artwork, it's, it's crazy. All of these have their own artwork just crazy and now we know why we needed that one here from where this one come from and now I'm gonna struggle placing that thing here here we go oh. the ziplocs there and again we have lots of ziplocs okay so this was by Stefan Feld Distributed, published by White Goblin Games. I got this now on a bargain deal on the FNAC. So if you're living in Belgium, kind of rush to FNAC because it's it's really cheap to get it now. And I will try to get this game as soon as possible on the table and get a little first impression about it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.